Pike, then strike at his men. Use slow and large motions to begin with, then gradually build up speed. Strike firmly on your opponent's shinai, then strike back at his men without losing balance. This is koti uchiotoshi men. Parry your opponent's kote strike and instantly strike at his men. The secret is to deliver an even sharper strike than your opponent's kote strike with flexible handwork and quick forward footwork. When you conduct uchiotoshi waza, you must coordinate your strike with the direction and speed of the shinai of your opponent. In this case, the timing of the downward strike on the opponent's shinai is too late. Consequently, he's already been struck. However, if the downward strike is too soon, your elbow and arm will be struck like this. It's therefore essential to strike with a proper ma and timing by ensuring a firm grip and keeping your hands in balance. Nukiwaza is the technique of dodging your opponent's strike and counter-attacking in one movement. There are two ways to conduct Nukiwaza. One is to step backward so that your opponent strikes the air instead. The other way is to shift and turn your body so that you can dodge the strike of your opponent. This is Men Nuki Men. Move one step backward while swinging your shinai overhead, then strike your opponent's frontal men by stepping back in. Let's take another look at Men Nuki Men. Move your right foot forward and change your body position. Strike at your opponent's men as you pass each other. Maintain proper footwork and dodge your opponent's strike by shifting your entire body. Repeatedly practice so that dodging and striking are integrated into one motion. Be careful not to use the side of your shinai. It's critical that you strike while dodging. This is the wrong way to do it. Attempting to dodge and strike only with the hands, without moving the body sufficiently. This is Men Nuki Do. When your opponent attempts a frontal strike, make use of the fact that his arms are fully stretched when you pass each other. Then strike at his right door with the blade of your shinai. The important point to remember when practicing Men Nuki Do is to point the blade of your shinai at the target by turning your hands. And to dodge by moving forward from the hips. Extend your arms fully and strike the moment you step forward diagonally. Maintain speed with the correct footwork and hold your upper body in balance. The essential point here is the correct hasuji no kaeshi, 
namely striking by pointing the blade of your shinai at the target by turning your hands. Don't try to dodge and counterattack simply by swaying the upper body backward and forward. Using just the hands leads to a weak blow. This is Kotenuki Men. Dodge while moving backward one step, then strike while stepping back forward. Integrate your movement with proper footwork. Judge the direction and speed of your opponent's shinai and keep an appropriate mai. When you dodge, use not only your hands but your entire body. Swing your shinai swiftly overhead in a large arc. This is kote nuki kote, the second representative form of the Nihon Kendo Gata, which is the basis of this technique. When you begin to practice this technique, start with a slow and large motion to ensure the correct form. Then gradually speed it up. Finally strike with a snap of your wrists as if you and your opponent were to simultaneously strike each other. Maintain good body movement. Determine your opponent's moves. Have the minimum necessary pressure in your hands to give the maximum possible impact to your strike. Men no kikote. Make as if you're drawing a large arc by throwing your opponent's shinai upward from under, then strike at his kote. Shift your body to dodge and always direct your body squarely at your opponent to strike. Don't immediately draw back your shinai, but keep pressing the target you've struck. If you turn your body like this, your strike is not a valid datotsu, even if it's been correctly delivered. Your nukiwaza will fail if your opponent notices you plan to dodge his attack. It's important to have him deliver his strike to the desired direction by either attacking him yourself or inducing him to attack. You must compose yourself mentally to parry your opponent's strike naturally, judging his attack accurately without being deceived by his movements. As with Kaishiwaza, you must master the secret of drawing your opponent as close as possible to you and dodge his attack the moment he almost strikes. Practice enables you to create and study methods to win a match. Its real significance is, however, to review what your predecessors have accomplished. The practice of kendo is therefore not only for the development of advanced techniques and building a strong body, but also for the cultivation of the mind. In the art of kendo, great importance is placed on the fundamentals, without which you can never become an expert. A minimum of three years is needed just to practice striking. Of all the practice methods, kirikaishi is invaluable for beginners and experts alike. Be sure that your left fist is raised above your head when swinging overhead, and travels no lower or higher than the pit of your stomach when swinging down. <laughs> 